Hello, I'm Mark Frith. I'm the Enterprise Manager here at Hume Community Garden Centre. Um, I've been here nearly 10 years now, so 1998. As soon as a pallet gets broken, it's on the, the scrap heap, and these companies don't know what to do with them, so it is just a waste product. We're quite lucky in Manchester at the moment, I don't know if you've noticed, there's building work going on everywhere. everywhere. So this, this section here was built by pallets from Bruntwood on Oxford Road. I have a varied work background, so I was an accountant by trade, I worked in performing arts administration and then kind of reflected on my life at the age of 35 and looked at where I wanted to be and, and my dream was always to have a big house, a big garden and be self-sufficient and, and grow my own food and build my own things. Um, I didn't quite make the money to do that um, but ending up at Hume Community Garden Centre was a great a great find for me. So starting off uh, two days a week working in nursery doing propagation. Um, now I'm the enterprise manager and looking at different avenues to generate money um, and utilising materials that some people would call waste. So uh, today I've been doing a talk around pallets and, and how you can use pallets to build structures. So we have quite a lot around the gardens because uh, we don't have a lot of uh, money to pay for resources. So free resources like the wood you get from pallets is, is is very beneficial for us. Um, as you can see we've made uh, raised beds out of them, uh, we've made our compost bay out of them, uh, we've also made our woodworking area and uh, a garden shed out of them and the garden shed was built using uh, a project with people from Bridge College coming to the garden centre learning how to do basic woodworking skills. As you can see here's one we've made earlier, it's a very simple construction, uh, two pallets with no work at all done on them, uh, were joined together with other pallet uh, timbers across the side and then we infilled to about halfway with strap materials and then compost was layered on top and then we planted into the compost. And as you can see they've, they've flourished this year, uh, we've got a lot of edible crops growing in them. So another structure that we had to build was uh, some gating for festivals that we have on site. So we've got lots of pathways in the garden centre here um, and every now and again we need to cordon off areas. So we've got an amazing volunteer that came up with this idea of using a simple pallet on wheels. So as you can see we've done very very little apart from add wheels to a pallet um, and some handles at the top so we can move them around the gardens and it's a very very functional piece of material. Um, the other thing we're going to add to this uh, for stage two is we're putting a little base under here and then we're going to plant alpines in the, uh, the gaps as well so it is a totally uh, movable garden.